obviously another one is Ryan Thompson, and I just love what he's done. The confidence in his eyes right now and what he's doing with the sinker and getting those ground balls, Dougie, has just been fantastic. I feel comfortable with this guy at any situation right now. Well, if you feel comfortable, that's the total opposite feeling of what a right-handed batter is going to feel when he's in the box because Ryan Thompson is almost perfect for this bullpen. He came over here, no experience really in the big leagues. Um, unlike Curtis, Curtis was a guy who had a little bit of experience, but, you know, Ryan Thompson is a guy who had no experience coming over here, but you see what he can do, the deception, the angles that he creates. It's amazing, and, you know, at this point, Kevin Cash does have a lot of confidence in him for those reasons. Uh, one main reason is because he's so good against right-handed hitters. I'm going to show you a video right here. I want you to check out a couple things. First of all, you're going to see a release point that is very, very unorthodox. Okay, you got to see it. It's off to the right-hand side. Essentially, when you look up, you will see that ball being released behind or at the hip of a right-handed batter. That makes it so hard for the right-handed batter to stay in there, stay on that pitch. You got to think about it. When he's releasing that ball, it's almost as if that ball is looking directly like that ball is going to hit you. That pitch is going to hit you. So the way he does is a couple ways. He creates angles and deception. Ryan Thompson is great at creating angles, and the first thing he does to create that angle is where he stands on the mound. I'm over here on the rubber in the demo area, and if you notice, I'm on the far right side of the mound. By being on the far right side, Ryan Thompson is actually able to cut down the angle from a right-handed batter to where he cannot see the pitch coming at him. It's very hard for a righty to pick up this pitch because of the angle he creates on the rubber. Second thing he does is creates deception. He creates it from that low arm angle. He'll come over here and drop down to the side, create the deception. Now you gotta think of yourself being a right-handed hitter and actually seeing that ball coming at you, okay? So when I'm throwing a curveball, as Ryan Thompson does very often, four out of the five punch outs he has this year are on that curveball. When he throws it and releases it, it's at the hip of a right-hander. So a right-handed batter to effectively hit that pitch has to stay in there, know that it's not going to hit him, and try to go the other way with it. That that pitch is breaking three to four feet. Oh, if yes. you can stay in there as a hitter and effectively do that, good luck to you. But I'm telling you, Ryan Thompson is one of the big advantages that we've seen so far in 2020 that the race picked up that really nobody wanted. And it's doing them really well. Outstanding. Another diamond in the rough. Both yeah. of them. Curtis as well. Great job on that one. Good Doug. job, Dougie. Listen, Tampa Bay, you get a lead to the sixth, seventh and eighth inning undefeated so far in 2020. We'll take our first time out on Rays Live, the pregame. When we return, Snell is on the mound. The man with the best swing and miss stuff statistically has his chance to show it on the bump tonight against Boston. Coming up clutch, Kevin Kiermeyer making it count when it counts the most. Might want to spell uh, clutch with a K now that KK is hitting like he is. And up next, Yandy Diaz, the on-base machine. Walks, hits, you name it, Yandy's doing it. We'll have more when Rays Live the pregame returns right after this.